are lipids? Lipids are organic compounds or biomolecules such as fatty acid, triglycerides, phospholipids, wax, steroids, terpenes, and eicosanoids, which are essential for the normal function of the body. They comprise of carbon and hydrogen with little amount of oxygen, though nitrogen and phosphorus may be present in some lipids. Now we are going to look at some of the key characteristics of lipids. What are the characteristics of lipids? They are made up of long chain of hydrocarbon with a carboxylic end composed of oxygen. As the name implies, hydrocarbon means they comprise of mainly carbon and hydrogen with though with little amount of oxygen in the carboxylic end. Other elements such as nitrogen and phosphorus may be present. Their long hydrocarbon chain comprised of the covalent bond between carbon and hydrogen makes them non-polar. Why the carboxylic end is actually polar? The entire compound is non-polar and do not mix with water because of the long hydrocarbon chain. They are actually immiscible with water. Note that the lipid did not mix with the water. Number three, lipids are energy-rich organic molecules, providing more than twice the amount of energy carbohydrates can yield. And lipids are also soluble in non-polar solvents, as I've earlier stated, like benzene, chloroform, toluene. But lipid is insoluble in water. What are the functions of lipids? One, they are actually long-term energy reserve in the body of living organisms. Triglyceride is an example of an energy storing compound in the body of humans. Fats in the body of humans also provide protection and act as insulators against heat. They are precursors to some um, substance in the body such as hormones and vitamins and lipids play a crucial role in the formation of membrane in living organisms. How do we classify lipids or categorize lipids? Lipids can be classified in three different ways in biochemistry. Firstly, lipids can be classified into simple lipids such as fats, oils, and wax, or complex lipids such as phospholipids and glycoproteins. Secondly, lipids are also more conveniently classified into the following. We have the fatty acids, triglyceride, formerly called the triacylglycerol, we have the phospholipids, steroids, we also have the wax, we have the terpenes, we have the prostaglandins. Let's talk about the fatty acids. The fatty acids are actually long chain hydrocarbons comprising of hydrogen and oxygen, though with a carboxylic functional group at the end. The fatty acids are divided into saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. The saturated fatty acid possesses a long hydrocarbon chain without a double bond. Example of a saturated fatty acid is butter. They are actually solid at room temperature, while the unsaturated fatty acid actually possess a double bond and this unsaturated fatty acid is divided into two the since unsaturated fatty acid and the trans unsaturated fatty acid the since unsaturated fatty acids possess hydrogen bond on the same side on the double bond while the trans unsaturated fatty acid possess hydrogen bond on the opposite end Saturated fatty acids are actually very good for the body and they include the oleic acids and linoleic acid.
and others are seen on the screen. Why the fat saturated fatty acid is seen in red meats and other animals? Though this particular saturated fatty acid is unhealthy for the body of living organisms. The third group is triglyceride. Triglyceride is formed from the reaction of glycerol and three fatty acids. And as you can see from the image, glycerol reacts with two fatty acids to form triglycerides. This reaction is a dehydration reaction leading to loss of water and what is formed is actually triglyceride which is insoluble in water. The next group is phospholipids. Phospholipids are lipids that consist of two fatty acids, one glycerol unit and a phosphate group as you can see from the image being displayed on your screen. It is actually present in the cell membrane of living organisms. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and drop questions on the comment section. Thanks for watching.